cars still in the shop. Um, got the control arms fixed on it. Now they talking about um, motor mounts need to be replaced. So we're getting the motor mounts replaced today. Um, I always tell y'all, man. I want to be very, very clear. Things are going to get in the way of what you're trying to do, of what you need to do. But I'm going to continue to tell y'all, it don't fucking matter. Get it done. <laughs> Check out. All right, y'all. So right now, we got, man, listen, bro. Look how big this girl's got. All right. These dog, these girls are huge. They're leaving in a couple days. Um, they were even and Prince are leaving. So in a couple days, it's only gonna, you're only going to see Gus, Roxy, Junior, Hazel, and Katana. Right now, I'm going to give Katana her medicated bath. It's time to give her her medicated bath. The French boy dog there in the backyard. This is spending a lot of time in the backyard because it's been cooler. So they, they've been in the backyard just kicking and just chilling, man. Uh, it's been cool, man. It's been real cool for them. Um, right now, they eating right now. Um, we're going to give uh, Hazel her medicated bath. You look at her skin. Just get a good look at her skin right now. Get a good look at her skin right now. And, and just watch how it's going to look at her in about a week or two. So we got Hazel. I gave her a great bath and then I put it back on her. I got cleaned it real good. Then I got it wet again and I put the medicine back on her. So right now I'm just gonna let that sit on her for a while. I'm gonna let the medicine just sit on her for a while. She can get out if she want to, but she's just all wrapping it up right now. Um, we're just gonna try to figure it out, man. I'm thinking this, everybody said this will work. It has great reviews. The medicine I used was referred to by a veterinarian, so this should work. They told me it's gonna work. I took it to the vet. They told me exactly what to get. So yeah, man, this is good, man. This is good. Um, it's warm water. She can get out if she wants to. I'm not gonna let her. I'm not gonna hold her in the hostage. So she can get out if she wants, man. But this girl, look how big her hands are. I don't know if you can tell, but she has really, really big paws. This girl's supposed to be so much bigger than this, but the antibiotics. You know, this is what she's going through. It's been holding her back, so she's gonna get right, man. She's going to get right. And you look at her nipples, man, they're poking out. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking she's pregnant, even if she even if she isn't, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this taken care of, man. Also, once um, all the other dogs leave, we'll have more space for her and to just to better take care of her, man. She definitely uh needed a good 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 bath. Katana coat has been clearing up really nice. It's like black slick. All the kennels been cleaned out, but Katana just pooped in, Zoo just pooped. So I'm gonna go through there and scoop that up. Right now, man, I'm just letting her soak. Letting the stuff soak on, I'm gonna rinse it off in a minute. She ain't even trying to get out. That water down there is very warm. It's really warm water. Um, I use the sink and all that to make sure it's warm water. Yeah, man, we just gonna get it done, man. I'm gonna rinse it off in a second. You know, yeah, just getting it cleaned up. <laughs> so yeah, right now we're just letting the girl soak in the medicated wash. I'm gonna rinse it off in about five more minutes. I've been letting it soak in about five minutes now. So just 10 minutes of just soaking. I've already cleaned it really good. Yeah, man. 
What up? What up, Cookie? <laughs> Told y'all, boy. My, my freaky athletic, boy. What up? 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 My other Frenchie over there. I got my Frenchie spending a lot of time in the backyard as well. Right now we got Junior. What up, Junior? Hey, Junior. Hey, boy. My boy. Hey, my boy. Hey, my Junior. My boy. Oh. Oh. Y'all always want to break stuff up. Junior. Hey, Katana. Katana looking better. Oh, yeah, I gotta clean up. I gotta clean kennel, the yard. It's been a day since I've done it. So I gotta clean everything up. Roxy, um, Roxy for show pregnant. If you're interested in that litter, the deposit is $1,000. Get in where you fit in. The whole litter would not be sold. Telling y'all, but I'm not sure if you guys understand what I'm saying. I'm gonna get to the point. Y'all would not sell dogs unless they're fixed. I'm only gonna sell fixed dogs to people. I'm not gonna sell dogs so people can breed them. When I get to that point, you're gonna hate you missed the chance to own one of my bloodlines that you can breed. So I'm telling you, I'm only gonna sell fixed dogs, I'm not selling to breeders. To get to the point where I'm not selling the breeder. And it might, it might, might start very soon. Like after these next couple of litters, I'm only gonna sell to uh to people that just want a dog. And I'm not trying to get rich out of this, but I'm only gonna sell to people that just want a pet. I don't like my dogs being in cages all the time. I don't like I don't like um not seeing personal videos of people not spending time with the, the dog, not teaching the dog nothing. I just don't like it. It don't benefit me. You know what I'm saying? It don't benefit me to throw this best blood out there for y'all to keep the dog in the cage. What I sold the dog for, I, I thought y'all was gonna be, you know what I'm saying? I thought y'all was gonna be spending a lot of time with the dog. I, I gave y'all some of the best blood, period, in the world. And it's like, y'all don't even appreciate it. And the reason you don't appreciate it because the price I gave it to you at. So I'm gonna let y'all know right now, uh, the price has gone up. And it's not coming down. Price going up and it's not coming down. Roxy is pregnant for sure. Hazel is pregnant for sure. And I'm thinking Katana is pregnant for sure. The price is up. The blood is too, it's too spectacular. I'm giving y'all $10,000 blood for $2,500, $3,000. Like, you can't find that. You won't find that. Shout out to everybody that own a dog for me. Shout out to the people that do own a dog that, that are doing what I, what I expected them to do. They spend a lot of quality time with the dog. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
don't know if y'all just seen it. But T.T. almost just got murdered. She almost just got killed. My dogs ain't. She's the only dog that don't know how to play with dogs. And my big dogs are hurt her. She, won't, she don't even know it. Rocky is going to take out. I have to pop. I had to pop the tunnel and rock on top of the hill with this shovel. It didn't hurt, but it showed them like, when I say stop, I mean it. Junior wasn't gonna hurt T.T. Boys don't really attack girls. Hope everybody having a great day. Spend time with my boys, man. If I can just give you a little game, I try to give everybody a little game um, whenever I do a video. First thing first, take care of your goddamn dogs, man. Spend time with your dogs, man. If your dogs don't fuck with you, you're not a good person. You know what I'm saying? If your dogs don't fuck with you, you're not a good person, man. That's just what it is, like. If you're not spending quality time, what was the point of buying a dog? If you're not gonna spend time with it. You know what I'm saying? Spend time with your dogs. Take care of your dogs. It's very important. Second, before you get on the internet trying to tell somebody how to do something, perfect it. Do research. Learn what you got going on, man. Do not try to teach people how to do shit if you don't know what the fuck you doing. You know what I'm saying? Um. I see people having problems crate training their dog. The reason you have a problem crate training, crate training your dog is because you don't have your dog on a routine. Put your dog on a routine, feed it at a specific time. If you're gonna feed it, if you have a trouble, if you're having trouble, when you're feeding your dog, feed your dog according to your schedule. If you know you can't take your dog out every 30, 45 minutes for a certain amount of time to get it used to not shitting in the kennel, don't put it in the kennel. Don't put it in the house. You have to dedicate weeks of your time specifically for that dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, just say if I want Junior in the house. Well, all, my, all these dogs will not shit in my house. Because they do, I'm going to kick their ass. But how I did it was, I brought him in the crib. I fed him. As soon as I fed him, I took him outside. Let him outside for what, Junior? Um, when I brought him back in, Brought him in for a little bit. Let him chill with me, hang out with me. When he got to standing up, moving around, 
took his ass back outside. You want to stand around, move around, go, go stand up, move around outside. Go piss, and, go piss, do whatever you want to do outside. Even in the crate. You put your dog in the crate, do not push your dog in the crate after it's eight. If you feed your dog, let your dog be outside. Put your dog outside, man. If you bring your dog in, bring it in for about 30, 45 minutes. But keep an eye on it. Then take it outside. You know what I'm saying? Then bring it back in. 30, 45 minutes go by, take it back outside again. If you keep a dog in the kennel for over two or three hours, that kennel becomes a part of everything. It becomes what is shit, piss, sleep, play. If you if you're in there too long, that that becomes where they do everything at. So don't put them in there too long. If you are gonna put them in there too, if you are gonna put them in there long periods of time, don't feed them that. Like if you're gonna feed them in the morning, take them outside. Or matter of fact, if you're gonna feed them, if you want to be in the kennel throughout the day, don't feed them in the daytime. Only feed them at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? Feed the dog at nighttime. Let it be outside. Play, blah, blah, blah. Bring it in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Bring it in the morning. Don't give it no food. Don't give it no water. Just bring it in the morning. When it's in the morning for a couple of hours, look at it. Take it outside for a little bit. Then bring it back in. Don't give it no food or water in the daytime. You can't give a dog food and water in the daytime. And then put them in the kennel in the daytime because they're going to shit. You know what I'm saying? It's all about um, prioritizing your time, um, dedicating your time to something very specific. You can't just wing it. You just can't just wing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's, just, that's just what I've learned over, over, over the amount of years I've had dogs. I've had dogs for my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I've had dogs my entire life. And that's what I noticed. If I feed them at random times, you got to feed them at the same time every day because you got to create a routine. You feed them at random time, they're gonna shit and piss at random time. It just, you know, it's what it is, man. And if you got a problem with dogs shitting in the house, pissing in the house, take out the, 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 the amount of time you need to, to train it. If you're not gonna train it, don't get mad at it for doing pissing shit in the house. It just, you know what I'm saying? That's what dogs do. They, they, uh, every, everybody, everybody, dog, everything, we're creatures of habit. You know what I'm saying? So create a good habit for your dog. And um, I'm no expert. But this is what I've learned over the years. Yeah, she for sure pregnant though, y'all. Ain't no everybody and anybody cannot get a dog. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be very, very, very specific on who I give dogs to. And um, that's what, what we're gonna do move forward, man. Um, I don't care how much money you got. I'm not just selling dogs to anybody no more. I've had people, I've had multiple people kill dogs. What I mean by killing dog is, if you don't take the necessary steps you need for your dog to be in a safe environment and it dies, to me you killed it. So I've had people kill my production. Some of, some of my best productions are, are dead. Um, I've had people tell me they're gonna send a dog to, I had a dude, listen to this dog. I had a dude I sold a dog to with dog papers Nigga paid pennies for the dog. He was supposed to come back and pay the other thousand and get the papers, but he said he don't need the papers. Cool, you don't need the papers. All right. The dude hit me up like, hey, um, first off, he started posting online the dog for sale. You can't sell a dog if you don't even know the history of the dog. You don't, you don't got the parents. You don't know shit. You're just selling a dog. That does not work. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even got the papers. So you couldn't sell a dog. So he hit me up like, hey, I want to sell the dog back to you. Why the fuck would I buy a dog back? That it makes no sense. I would, I wouldn't sell you a dog and buy the dog back. If you can't take care of the dog, you give it back. It's in the contract. If you can't take care of the dog, you give it back. He talking about, ah, da, 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 I'm gonna send it to a shelter. Do whatever you need to do, you dumbass boy. Nigga tried to sell me my dog back. What the fuck, nigga? That's why I'm selling a pair of shoes to a nigga, and he tell me, bro, I don't want the shoes no more. Can you buy them back? Why? I'm not buying shit back, you dumbass boy. You dumb. You a fool. Nigga's a fool. Nigga try to sell me a dog back. Fool. And then I was like, bro, I'm not buying a dog back. You know what I'm saying? I'll take her back. And then once I make money from her, um, as breeding, I'll throw you what you, you know what I'm I'll throw you something. What I was going to do is, once I bred her, because I was going to breed her in the house, I have her sister next door. I don't need her. I have her sister next door. I still have the same blood next door. I have her sister next door, her fucking litter mate next door. So what I was going to do is, I'm going to take the dog back. Once I bred the dog, once I sold uh, the, one of the puppies, I was gonna give him what he paid me. So he just broke even. 
The dumb nigga hit me up like, um, after telling me, all right, cool, I'll do that. I'm lining shit up, I'm setting shit up for, for somebody to grab the dog for me. And then I come get the dog later. Like I'm finna pay somebody to get the dog for me, let the dog spend a week or so up there until I can get up there and get her. Cause I still have to go to Florida and drop dogs off. I still gotta go to Alabama and drop dogs off. So I don't have time to go to Dallas right now. All right, so he, he agreed with it. So I set the shit up. I sent the girl some money for gas and all that. I sent the, I sent the girl the address for the dude. The girl called the dude, I like, he texted me, I don't know you, bro, I don't trust you. And he sent me a picture of his cash up. Send me 900. You dumb bitch! I'm anything against poor people, bro, but they just don't take care of shit, man. They don't take care of shit. So that's what I noticed, man. Poor people just don't take care of shit, man. And you would think that, you know, they would, but it's really not how it works, man. Really not how it works, man. They just don't take care of shit, man. Sorry I had to tell y'all about that story, man, but it was a true story, man. Dumbass nigga, man. Dumbass people. Also, one of the dudes that killed one of my dogs, this happened last year. He left the dog out in the sun with no water, no shade, and, and asked for his money back. Bro, what the fuck you talking about? Bro, bro, bro y'all don't understand, bro. Doing this dog shit, bro, you meet some of the strangest, dumbest people on earth. Like, people that would have never been in my same circle. Like, a lot of y'all that I've met through this dog shit, if I didn't do this dog shit, honestly, we would have never been in the same room. We would have never met, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's a pro and a con today because the pro today, I'm meeting some amazing people. Some amazing people, bro, like, there's so many people I've met that are just super duper amazing, transparent, coherent, smart people, intelligent people. And then there's the other side to it where I'm meeting people like, I'm not gonna say their names, but just a bunch of niggas killing my dog, niggas kill Zico, you know what I'm saying? Just the board the it just be shit like that, y'all, like. Right? I always want to get picked up. Golly. It just, man, it's sad, bro. It's sad, bro. And I, and, and I feel like it's my fault, because, like, I feel like I should have screamed better. I feel like on a lot of questions motherfuckers are asking me and how they tried to play me on the price and do a lot of shit like that, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm, I'm going to be very, very clear with you guys right now. Last year was my first year doing this breeding shit, and I made a lot of mistakes. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If one of y'all hit me up and crying about a dog, and you trying to negotiate my price, I'm gonna block your number. So, I know y'all thought the video was over, but we still running, man. I'm out here with Hazel, cleaning up the garage, you know, sanitizing everything. Um, TT then ran off somewhere, y'all. I don't know where TT at. Man, I tell you, dog. Thank you. Uh, think you want to get into this good dog shit? Look, think you want to get into this good dog shit? Trust me, I'm not sure if that's what you really want to do, man. Hey, Hazel. They'll come back. The problem ain't if they'll come back or not. The problem is somebody could open up their door and they run inside and boom, she gone. It's just it's too easy for the good dogs. Somebody open up the door with these big dogs, they're gonna be scared to even let a dog come near them. So if a dog come to it, run towards somebody's door, they're gonna hurry up and close it. So it's just a difference, bro, and, and what you what you gotta deal with when you got good dogs towards big dogs, right? 